What's up, Mopar fam? As you see, we got Project Storm over here, and uh, we're working on the meth injection kit right now. We're installing the meth kit. So, uh, hell yeah, let's get to it. Show you what's going on, where we're going to put the pump, run the lines, and how we're going to use our factory uh, window washer fluid tank for our meth tank, and it will still be our window washer fluid tank. So here we go. All right, guys. So. We're putting the meth pump from Snow Performance. If you're in front of the truck, it's gonna be on the driver's side frame rail. As you can see, he is down there right now, putting the self-tapping screws through the pump into the frame rail. And that is where we're gonna mount it. That's exactly where we mounted it on Frostbite. Um, that's exactly how I have it done on Frostbite. It's a good location. And then the factory window washer fluid tank goes right here and then we'll have a line coming off the bottom of that tank and it goes down here under the radiator and plugs right into our meth injection pump and then I'm going to show you on this the factory tank what we did and this is exactly what I did with frostbite as I used the same factory window washer fluid tank for my meth tank uh, instead of using the one they supply you with you can use this but you have to try to figure out where you want to mount it and I find it to be easier to just make your window washer tank your meth tank and you can still also use it for the window washer fluid as the snow performance 50 50 mixture actually works really well for your window washer fluid as well not to mention it's a great de-icer um, so anyway on the bottom of the tank you can see where we have threaded in you can see where we threaded in the fitting that snow performance supplies you we drilled the bottom of the tank and then we threaded in the supplied fitting right here and then they supply you with some special glue adhesive stuff to put on those threads and we coated the whole thing just like I did frostbite and I've never had any leaks I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever it seems to work really good all right guys so we're back here on the meth injection install we have our factory window washer tank and then this is the hose that they supply you with in the stage one kit it's basically like a nylon tubing uh, pretty common for like purge systems on nitrous and it just has one fitting here you slide over you simply plug it on you push it up on the nipple there cram it all the way down till it's flush and then take the nut run it Oop, take the nut run it down tighten that down you don't have to tighten it super tight we'll just put a, a pair of pliers or a wrench on it and just snug it up and then that's pretty much it this is like a taper seal kind of like plumbing so you don't have to like tighten it too much or you'll end up crushing the hose and then we're going to take the tank we're going to drop it in the location here mount it back up plug in our factory sensor which will also tell us that we're low on fluid another reason why I like using the factory tank because when it gets low on fluid it's going to show up on the dash not to mention the factory reservoir holds a lot of fluid it'll pretty much hold a whole gallon a gallon gallon and a half I can't remember how much exactly the factory tank holds but it holds a lot of fluid and uh, that's how we did it on frostbite that's how we're going to do it on project storm and then it's just a couple bolts couple screws down one here and then one up here and then basically looks like we never messed with it very easy to pour your meth injection fluid in here on these factory tanks got a big mouth works very good all right guys so we are gonna go over the water meth injection install um, like I already showed you how we did the tank and everything we got the grill back on and what we did is the line running from the pump, we just kind of ran it up here. And then that's the little inline check valve. 
and then we have it tapped in right here into the tube and then over here is the boost reference switch from snow from nitrous express uh, this switch works pretty good this is the same one that's on frostbite and we have it tapped in to uh, receive manifold vacuum or boost obviously when we hit boost and then it's just got two wire connections that goes to it and then this is our boost gauge down here that's tapped in but line right here that I'm holding goes over to the um, manifold for vacuum and to receive the boost signal this switch is very adjustable from low pressure down to probably 2 psi all the way up to I think like 15 psi I believe somewhere in there um, and that is the switch we're using then inside the truck here we have our boost gauge which we already did the install on that and then we have our PLX AFR gauge and then right here you can see the green little LED light that is our meth injection notifier basically um, whenever we go into boost and we reach our specific boost level that we want our meth to come on this light will light up and basically let you know that the meth injection is on and spraying the meth pump's been activated so it is spraying the meth and uh, that's what that little green led is so pretty cool little feature works really good and that's uh, exactly how it works on frostbite as well <clears throat> other than that as you can see guys we are uh pretty much done um we just got to load up a tune, do some testing, and uh, this thing's ready to roll. Other thing I want to mention, this is our IET sensor that we have plumbed in to the tube also. So that is how we did that. And uh, yeah, pretty much there. Came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Still have a few things that we need to tidy up, but all in all pretty clean install.